Hello my dear viewers, welcome back. In the previous video we discussed the role of various systems of the body in homeostasis, so in today's video, we will study mechanism of action of homeostatic system, so let's start the lecture. Homeostatic mechanism in the body is responsible for maintaining the normalcy of various body systems. Whenever there is any change in the behavioral pattern of any system, the effectors bring back the normalcy either by inhibiting and reversing the change or by supporting and accelerating the change depending upon the requirement of the situation. This is achieved by means of feedback signals. Feedback is a process in which some proportion of the output signal of a system is fed, passed, back to the input. This is done more often intentionally in order to control the behavior pattern of the system. Whenever any change occurs, the system receives and reacts to two types of feedback, first, negative feedback and second, positive feedback. Let's talk about negative feedback, it is the one to which the system reacts in such a way as to arrest the change or reverse the direction of change. After receiving a message, effectors send negative feedback signals back to the system. Now, the system stabilizes its own function and makes an attempt to maintain homeostasis. Many homeostatic mechanisms in the body function through negative feedback. For example, thyroid stimulating hormone, DSH, released from the pituitary gland stimulates the thyroid gland to secrete thyroxine. When thyroxine level increases in the blood, it inhibits the secretion of TSH from the pituitary so that, the secretion of thyroxine from the thyroid gland decreases. On the other hand, if thyroxine secretion is less, its low blood level induces the pituitary gland to release TSH. Now, TSH stimulates the thyroid gland to secrete thyroxine. Another example for negative feedback mechanism is the maintenance of water balance in the body. Positive feedback Positive feedback is the one to which the system reacts in such a way as to increase the intensity of the change in the same direction. Positive feedback is less common than the negative feedback. However, it has its own significance particularly during emergency conditions. One of the positive feedbacks occurs during the blood clotting. Blood clotting is necessary to arrest bleeding during injury and it occurs in three stages. The three stages are, first, the formation of prothrombin activator second, the conversion of prothrombin into thrombin and third is, the conversion of fibrinogen into fibrin. Thrombin formed in the second stage stimulates the formation of more prothrombin activators in addition to converting fibrinogen into fibrin. It causes the formation of more and more amount of prothrombin activators so that the blood clotting process is accelerated and blood loss is prevented quickly. Other processes where positive feedback occurs are milk ejection reflex and parturition and both processes involve oxytocin secretion. I hope you like the video, thanks for watching.